Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel all about me, JK's Magician and Children's Entertainer and welcome to another video. Firstly, hopefully you can hear me a little bit more clearer as I've just upgraded my microphone for YouTube so to a better quality one, so hopefully you can hear me that little bit better. Secondly, hope you all enjoyed my balloon modeling tutorials. If you haven't checked those out, do click up here, I will put a link and that will take you back to the very first one which was called Balloon Basics. Do feel free to send your attempts at these balloons to my Facebook page, JK's Magician and Children's Entertainer. I would love to see the photos of your balloons. But welcome to a different style of video today. This one is called My Brand New Business Venture for 2020. You probably guess what it's all about, but you don't know what my brand new business venture is. I wanted to try and play a little game called Guess the Business Venture because I want to explain the history of the business venture and I want you at home to try and guess what it is. So first of all, this background doesn't quite look what you would, what, how you'd expect it to for this business venture. So let's change that now. Ah, when you think of this business venture, this is the place you think it might be. Any ideas just yet? So a brief history of this brand new venture. We can date it back in England to 1662. We know this because we've read it in Samuel Pepys's diary on the 9th of May 1662 in Covent Garden. This was the first place that we saw this art form over here in England. It originally came over from Italy, from Commedia dell'arte, which is com uh, comedy of the masks. That's where it originated. And I've wanted to do this art form for many, many years. And this year I finally thought, right, I'm gonna do it and set it up. So do you know what it is just yet? Well, for those who haven't guessed, my brand new business venture for 2020 is a traditional Punch and Judy show. Yes, the JK's business is growing to include a Punch and Judy show. I'm so excited for this. Like I said, I've wanted to do this for many, many years. Now, my booth is on order at the moment. At the time of filming this clip, it's about two weeks away from being ready to collect. My puppets were trying to be delivered yesterday and I was out, so I've got to go to the post office this afternoon to collect those. So we'll go and do that in just a few moments. But yes, enjoy this video all about my brand new Punch and Judy show. So let's go down to the post office and collect my puppets. And I'm now back from the post office, just picked up the parcel. It's not just one parcel I've got from uh, Mareka. It is two boxes full of all the Punch and Judy puppets. I haven't even unopened these yet, so you're going to see me open these at the same time as I do. So I'm really excited about this. Now, like I said earlier, each one of these puppets is hand-carved. So let's start opening this box up. I don't know which puppets are in which box. So this is going to be really exciting. Let's just open the first one up. Let's just double-check that. I not cutting anything. Let's have a look. So I've got a little picture as well, a little postcard, a little uh, Punch and Judy postcard just there of Mr. Punch doing the classic sausage routine, look like with the policeman sausages just there. So that's really exciting. Then inside here I have got. All right, so I'm not allowed to show you what's inside this. This is uh, the swazzle, which is how you do Mr. Punch's voice. I already can do the swazzle but I've got another one to have a spare when I'm doing the shows. Here I've got the string of sausages, and these look really nicely made, these string of sausages. So that's the classic string of sausages that we have in a Punch and Judy show. Now, I can see all these characters in here. So this one just here is the baby. Wow, I didn't realize how big the babies were. This is a really big, this baby. So there you go, you can see the details on the baby just there and really nicely painted, really nice clothing. And when you do the walking routine, and so this is controlled by a handle inside the baby just here. So I'm gonna place the baby back, wrapped up just in here. I can see Mr. Punch, I wanna try and open Mr. Punch last if I can. So I just pop the baby over there. And is, oh, this looks like this might be the policeman. Yes, this is a policeman just here, let's get Wow, the policeman is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get the policeman on. So here is the policeman for the Punch and Judy show, really nicely carved. Now, you may notice with Punch and Judy puppets that this arm here is slightly lower than this arm. That is because when you are controlling Punch and Judy, you're controlling this. So this finger here goes inside the head. This finger here goes inside this arm and this thumb here goes inside the other arm. So that basically means, because the way that it is made, one is higher than the other, that you automatically, your hand is automatic like this. Wow, he is absolutely, 
this is absolutely gorgeous just here and all the puppets have one of these on this what? is a yeah one of these puppets uh, have a ring on so when they hang in the punch and judy booth they hang up like this and when you go to kick the character your hand goes straight down and is able to pick up the puppet just there so that is the policeman i'll place the policeman just down there i didn't realize how big these puppets actually were now there's one more character in here which i can see is mr punch i want to open my mr punch last that is what i wanted to do so i will open mr punch last just pop the sausages over to here and let's open up the second box so we should have the crocodile in here judy in here should be as well um joey the clown should be in here uh I think that's all the characters that I ordered for the show, if I remember. Let's just open this box up. I'm so excited for this. Now, like I did say, uh, at the time of filming, it's about two weeks until I should get my Punch and Judy booth all being well. So it's been, it's an aluminium frame one, and it's been made specifically to my height. And it looks like we've got another postcard. It's the same postcard. They're really cool. I can display those. And who's this? Look like that's my Judy. So I'll pop Judy just to one side. I want to open all the other characters before I actually open Judy. So let's pop Judy in with Mr. Punch just there. In here, I oh, it's my slapstick. So this is what a slapstick looks like, and a slapstick creates the noise. And Marika slapsticks okay, come with this bag just here, and they hang inside the booth. So then that way, when you're doing Punch and Judy, you can easily pick up the slapstick to. Here, all the characters over the head so that comes in a nice little pouch just here what i will do is um i will do a close-up video of every character oh this is my ghost just here this looks like a really nice ghost character and then oh double layered on the ghost that's nice and again your hands go in and oh that ghost is really nice i like this I like this little ghost just here so a little scary ghost to scare Mr. Punch. So like I said, what I'll do is I'll get a close up of every single character and put some music behind it. So that, there is my ghost. Pop him over there. Pop this down here. Ah, uh, Joey the Clown. So what Marika does is, Marika, she has loads and loads of different puppets in stock and you're able to go through and pick the ones you like. So these are the ones which I like the most out of the ones she had in stock. And this here is my Joey the Clown. So my Joey is going to be the main, uh, one of the main stars of the show. So he's going to intro the show for me and be almost like the compare. He is made absolutely beautifully. The paintwork on this is phenomenal. Again, like I said, I will get a, paint, a close up of the paintwork and all their faces. So that there is Joey. And there's one more character in here to open. I'm trying to get them not to fall off. And in this box is the famous crocodile. And wow this is amazing this character is so let's get inside here now this crocodile now where did i put my sausages this crocodile is able to come and take and eat the sausages from mr punch so he's able to uh, come and take all of those and he's got really nice snapping action on there so again just this is paper mache up the top all wood down here the teeth are all wood and there is a hole in there you can see my thumb to be able to steal the sausages from mr punch wow and there's only two more characters to open now the last two characters for me to open are obviously judy and mr punch so let's get judy out first and have a look at judy then we'll get punch and judy both together now this is my favorite judy that marika had on sale when at the time of ordering and there there it goes there is my judy lovely dress and of course she can <laughs> blow a nose on her apron as well and she's got a little nice little necklace around there as well lovely little bit of hair and let's go and get out mr punch now and let's meet the star of my punch and judy show mr punch and mr punch I'm surprised how big Mr. Punch actually is. Now, Mr. Punch, he goes on to the other arm to all the other puppets. And here he is. Here is my Mr. Punch. And now this Mr. Punch, he has the ability to be able, for me, to be able to kick his legs. So I can kick 
Mr. Puncher's legs just there. So let's get my Punch and Judy up together and see what these two look like as a pair. Let's just, I've got nowhere to hang them at the moment, so it's a little bit difficult for me to, uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to get each character on. Now I picked this Mr. Punch because of the way he was dressed. So there we go. I absolutely love the look of this Punch and Judy together. So there we go. Say bye bye. Give him, a, give yourself a kiss. There we go. That's excellent. So let's get close ups of all the characters in the Punch and Judy show. Ah, yes, so uh, my puppets are absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. I am over the moon and it's past two weeks now. And guess what? My Punch and Judy booth is being delivered at around 11 o'clock today. I'm so excited. I know. I just cannot wait for it to be 11 o'clock. It's now about nine o'clock in the morning and I just want it to be 11 now to get my Punch and Judy booth. So I'm going to wait those couple of hours. And of course, I'll do a video as soon as my Punch and Judy booth arrive. So, Mareko just been round, she dropped off my Punch and Judy booth. I'm now about to build it up for the very first time, so let's do a quick time lapse of me building up my brand new Punch and Judy booth. I'm so excited to see this. So I've just finished building up the Punch and Judy booth. That took around 20, 25 minutes to build for the first time, so it wasn't too bad. And let's take a look at the Punch and Judy booth now. It's just here behind me, so let's take a quick look. I am absolutely over the moon with this Punch and Judy booth. I have just tied it down today, it is a little bit windy, but I want to take you inside the Punch and Judy booth. So let's go back inside the booth so you get to see what it looks like from my point of view. So here we go, let's go inside the booth now. And this is what it looks like. So back here we've got the blackout. Because the scenery is see-through, you need the blackout so the audience can't see you. And this is the scenery just here. And just down here is what's known as the drop bag. So any props that you use, they get dropped inside here. They don't go and break on the floor. So this here is called a puppet bar. It's got all hooks on where you can hang puppets. So you've got your front puppet bar. You then got your right hand puppet bar. And this is where Mr. Punch sits just here. Then you've got your left hand puppet bar where all my other characters are gonna sit. So at the front, I've got Joey the Clown because he makes quite a few appearances during the show that I've wrote. Then I have got Judy just here, Policeman, Ghost and Crocodile. Because I got the puppets a few weeks before the um, booth, I was able to go down and play around and write uh, some scripts. And then up here, this ring here, that controls my curtains. So when I pull that, it can then open up the curtains at the front. So let's, you may be able to see the light now coming through. Each curtain is controlled individually. So that basically means that I can see out the front just here 
but the audience can't see me because of the blackout. So I take around the front, set the camera up and get a few of the characters out so you can see what they look like inside the Punchy and Judy booth. Ah, uh, so unfortunately that does now bring us to the end of another video on my channel. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about my brand new business venture, my traditional Punch and Judy show. So my Punch and Judy show will be available for all fun days, fates, weddings, birthday parties, any social clubs, WI meetings, horticultural societies, anything like that where you want to have a traditional Punch and Judy show that can range from an hour's package right on to a entire day of shows. So if you'd like any more information, don't forget to check out the Facebook page, JK's Magician and Children's Entertainer, and the website, www.jkcemagician.co.uk, where hopefully in the next few weeks, there'll be a page on my website, particularly designed just for my Punch and Judy shows. So until next week, have a magical one.